2014 will go down as the warmest year around the globe in recorded history. So this July was the single hottest month in recorded history. The Earth phenomenon was a short-term trigger to a long-term global warming caused by human activity. Climate change is now affecting every country on every continent. Nagbabalik po ang mainit na panahon. Sabi na pag-aasa na kapekto po sila ang bahagi ng bansa. Sa dami na rin nung nais makaranas ng malamig na hangin, nagkabuhol-buhol ang traffic. Sa halip kasi na maranasan nila ang hinahanap-hanap nilang lamig, sinalubog sila na matinding init. Tagaytay City is best known for its school raising climate and tourist attraction, specifically the spectacular view of the Al Volcano. With an elevation of 634 meters above sea level, Tagaytay's average temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. The lowest ever recorded temperature was in January 2014 where it plunged to 18 degrees Celsius. Amazing, right? But have you ever realized how Tagaytay was 10 to 15 years ago? Now, let's take a deep look into the unknown of Tagaytay. Together with a team, let's find out how Tagaytay changed over the years. Ten to fifteen years ago, the city was surrounded with group of trees. Because of its high latitude, the climate was really invigorating. Climate change is really alarming. The human population continues to grow, so thus its impact on the environment. Pagpatak ng kahit tanghali, kahit mismo alas 12, mal malamig pa din. Hindi right. katulad ngayon, ano, madalasan ngayon eh, nagkakasakit kasi nga pa bago-bago yung klima ng panahon. Mas maganda yung nun. Ito yung, sabi yung malamig, mainit pa yan. Hindi katulad dati na mas malamig. Nakaramdam mo talaga yung ano ng Tagaytay, simi ng Tagaytay. So before kasi, hindi pa na-establish yung mga buildings, so... According to history, Tagaytay was once a place of revolutionaries. It became a steer passageway during World War II, and that's because of Tagaytay's high ridges. But look at now. Tall buildings, condominiums, restaurants, all of these were human creations, human activities. But the debate is over. Climate change is real, and Tagaytay is horribly affected. It is already causing major problems, and if we do not act boldly and decisively, a bad situation will become worse. Dun sa klima po, nakakalungkot kasi po i dati mas malamig, tapos ngayon medyo mainit na nga po, gawa nga po ng This heavy traffic, this pollution, 
the growing number of people, the unpredictable change in weather, all of these are signs of climate change. Uh, minsan, uh, pagka umuulan, tapos binang init, nagkakaroon din ano, nagkakasad din yung mga tao. Ngayon kasi ang dami ng buildings kaya medyo mainit na pabago-bago na yung panahon, lalo na pang tanghali. Madalasan ngayon eh, nagkakasakit kasi nga pabago-bago yung klima ng panahon. Have you ever wonder what will Tagaytay look like? In 2060, in the few more coming years, what role the climate change or the growing world population will play? By 2050, more than 2 to 5 billion more people will join the 6.6 .6 billion people alive today. That will mean more exhaust gases into the atmosphere. The question is, Will Tagaytay save itself? Pag sinabi mo kasi Tagaytay, parang iba eh. Fresh. Yung fresh, fresh yung hangin, tapos yung tahimik. Tapos yung asin magpin mo na pag sabi mo bakasyon, Tagaytay the best. Hindi ka tulad ngayon na pag sinabi bakasyon, parang hate mo na ma may isip yung Tagaytay. Kasi parang ano na lang yan eh, pag ito na lang pupuntahan mo na, may tulad din mo. Hindi ka tulad dati na parang Makita mo talaga nature talaga, puro puno, tapos konti lang yung mga tao. Ngayon, iba na eh. Parang hindi mo na kilala yung mga tao. Hindi ka dati yung nagtitinda sa labas. Kilala mo pa kung sila nagtitinda eh. Ngayon, mahirap. Kaya lagi ko nga sinasabi sa kasama, kasi first time na niya din, galing na ba? Sabi niya maganda daw, sabi ko mas maganda yun. A growing percentage of humanity is pursuing prosperity without regard to natural limits. Every year, we produce many billions of tons of carbon dioxide and face a rapid succession of storms, droughts, and floods. Climate researchers war that mankind must drastically reduce its carbon dioxide emissions by 2050. Otherwise, the planet will no longer be able to support its inhabitants and will gradually shut down everything we base our lives on. Now, will Tagaytay save itself? Urban development has its own share of advantages. We cannot deny the fact that commercialism helps the economic growth of the city. I don't want to be hypocrite here. Yes, Tagaytay evolves greatly and we all should be happy about that. But have you ever think what would happen in the few more coming years? Have you ever imagined if these trees would still be here? If these fogs would still come down and touch your skin? Have you ever think of this cool, breezing climate turning into a suffocating one? About these kids enjoying the sky, the students shedding under the trees, have you? Because we are, and we don't want that to happen. We don't want this commercialism continuously grows up while the natural environment is dying. We don't want to see any condominium buildings intended for rich people to enjoy their luxuries while some people are here, homeless. We don't want to see tourists coming here all the way from afar just to cause pollution. No, enough with your garbages. Of course, we all hate heavy traffic. Thinking of Tagaytay as Philippines' second summer capital is really disturbing. For the reason of climate change happening in the city makes me think that Tagaytay is indeed a second summer capital. The weather at noontime is really as hot as summertime, when supposedly it should be not. Tigil na yun, ano? 
<laughs> pagbibigay ng fire nito pagpapagawa ng mga bagong group. Stop mo na. Sana ganun pa rin in 10 years. Sana ganito pa rin ang tagaday. At sana buhay pa rin ako. Sana pagating ng sampung taon, ganito pa rin siya. Halinis at kaganda at kaginaw. It is indeed true that Tagaytay is still a cold place. The weather still makes the tourists and the residents satisfied. The economic growth of the city are going up high. In fact, Tagaytay was given a chance to host the Southeast Asian Games, namely the skateboarding and cycling BMX sited at the sprawling Oval Park. These opportunities must be treasured and so expected to be continued. Remember, that will only happen if we save Tagaytay from the threat of climate change. Let the future generation see and experience what Tagaytay is offering today. Tagaytay is the home for many people, many species, and all living things. It's in your hands now to live it or live it. Time, so what? It's cute. We love you, India. We love. 